I get them hating me with a smile on their face, you know, yelling it from across the store and things like that. Hi, I'm Wes Bentley, and I'm gonna be reacting to some of my most iconic moments from Yellowstone. Michael? That's not my name anymore. This is the scene where I first, where Jamie first meets his real biological father and um, you know, I, this was a surprise to me uh, in the script and uh, a wonderful one because it was so much to play with and I was really excited for Will Patton to be playing my father because he's one of the actors I've admired most uh, in my career and in my youth and uh, he didn't disappoint. We really didn't do much before we did some takes and as soon as he turned around and looked at me, um, that's all he had to do. It just felt heavy. It felt uh, I felt all the things I needed to just from his look and so it was one of those special moments as an actor to to get that from another actor and um, also very difficult you know it's really hard to play these scenes as Jamie that to, he's so um, raw and broken and um, emotional uh, more emotional than most characters that um, it, it also took its toll and by the end of that day I was exhausted I'm not buying this for the Yellowstone buying this for me. I thought that was a great scene because that ranch was beautiful. <laughs> it was fun to shoot there. It was, I think, even more, to me, even more beautiful than the, the ranch we shoot for the Yellowstone Ranch. And um, uh, I, I had a great time in that scene. That was also early in that uh, episode, I believe. And so it was kind of Jamie's first, you know, you see him really embracing his biological father and trying to, to, to change his life and make his life his own, independent of the Duttons. And now whoever he was going to be with his father he could move on, maybe. Uh, and unfortunately, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm gonna get you disbarred, you spineless piece of shit. You should never come home. You told me to come home. Why on earth would you ever listen to me? These are always wonderful scenes with Beth uh, and Kelly. Kelly and I have a really um, great relationship and working through these scenes are really challenging. We have to trust each other to be able to go as far as we do. Um, and uh, we do, and we, we put so much work into it and we have so much trust for each other and we have so much care for each other that we really can go as far as we want. And um, I think that's why people really love the scenes because we, we don't really hold back once we get, once we get going. So I, you know, I love working with her. Taylor have written such a great arc for this character throughout all the seasons and it's really been a, quite a journey sometimes subtle, sometimes dramatic changes have been taking place. And what it's come to is this season is Jamie is, um, he's, he's changed his perspective on them. He no longer has the love or hope of reconciliation he had with Beth. He just has his own hatred for her now. And his father, I think he sees is no longer the hero he once thought he was. It just seems like a man who doesn't know what to do. Yeah, I get all of it. I, you know, I get, I get them hating me with a smile on their face, you know, yelling it from across the store and things like that. It's, it's great fun. You know, he's, um, he's, uh, he's quite a complicated character and that's what people want to come up with. They want to give me therapy sessions for Jamie and, you know, try to help heal him and they're con they tell me they're concerned for him and they just hope one day he, uh, two things at once, both stand up for himself but stop being the bad guy. <laughs> so it's great. Rip, please. Always treated you like an equal, like a friend. Yes, that takes you right back. Um, that was that was real. That was when Jamie. I that season's the season I I learned that Jamie was such an emotional, you know, uh, weak person. Not not that emotions weak, but he independent of that emotion, he's also weak. And um, and it was that's that's that was the most challenging season because I had to really invest in that, and that's when I the depth of Jamie really took a hold of me um, was from all of that. I thought that was a great scene with, uh, with Rip for, to see Jamie and Rip and, and they've been close, you know, they grew up together basically, or at least for part of the time, and they're sort of brothers, so we got to see in that sort of sequence of events, Rip's care for Jamie and Jamie's care for Rip. Thank you for watching my most iconic moments on Yellowstone, and be sure to check out Yellowstone on Paramount Plus.